everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new around here hello my name is sam and i love everything to do with makeup if you're not new around here we are on day 1050 of the course so we're kind of scabbing over a little bit so i'm hoping we are towards the end of that process because it's really pissing it off so if you haven't already guessed by the thumbnail we're gonna do a get ready with me we are chilling here at the moment it, it, oh my god these are new pajamas <gasps> I think I might have got a little bit of something. These are my new stitch pajamas from Primark. I will obviously be getting changed in a bit. I've uh, got my little stitch headband on. And we're just going to do a get ready with me. It's Sunday and yeah, we're just going to come and get ready with me. And of course, we're going to be chatting about some bullshit. How exciting. No, I am literally super, super, super excited to be testing this mascara that has blown the internet blown the internet let's just dive into it um i don't have like a total full face we're just gonna get ready test out some new products and see what we think <laughs> What do we need to start with? We need to start with if you're new. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and turn the notification bell on because we have so much fun on this channel. We really do. It is the right ball. There is no fakeness on this channel. I mean, come on. There's clearly no filters. Um, so no fakeness, no bullshit. And you're just gonna see some like close-ups of my horrible skin today. <laughs> Starting out with the first products, I'm just gonna put a lip oil on. Normally, I've normally already got this on. Um, but I picked these up from Artitude Cosmetics. They released like a whole set of these, but I just picked up two and they're just so super, super cute. I love the packaging. Um, I got one in Wicked Watermelon and I got one in Cherry. I don't think they do have like a tint. I'm not, I think that's just like the tint of the bottle. I think they have. Okay, Cherry's not, not very strong scented. Sometimes I think that's nice just to have like a little bit of a, a little scent. Watermelon is definitely a little bit stronger. We're going to use the cherry one today. Just to sit on my lips before, you know, while we're doing some makeup and chatting. Um, do you like my little light at the back? I thought I'd add something. I'm not too keen on this dull foot. Like, it's really like, it's... It's really firm, but it's like really small as well. So I feel like you're gonna keep dipping in to like use extra product. It smells nice though, and it's quite refreshing. Um, so yeah, those are those. Everything will be linked down below as always. And I've got money those. Primer. Now, I picked up three primers from the Beauty Crop. The only thing I've ever used from the Beauty Crop is the Amelia Olivia blush, really pink blush. Is that what it's called? It's just called blush, isn't it? Glow blush? I'm not too sure. And the Amelia Olivia face mist, which I love. I've just bought a new backup because I was running out. And so I decided to do a little bit of a shop. Um, and these are the primers. In fact, let's do brows. Let's do brows because that is also beauty crop. And this um, is the BFF Brow Friends Forever. So like I said, some of these products aren't like new, new. They're new to me. Just comes in this little bit of a pink packaging. And you get a nice little... Oh my God, how cute is that? Oh my God. That's toy. I'm going to lose that. That's never, ever going to be around forever and this is what it looks like you've probably already all seen like those because like they're you know they're not new they're new to me and i really want to try them out i do quite like the pink honey um brow wax but yeah i just like try something else something a little bit different there was something else that i wanted to try that was also going viral on tiktok i feel like it's a that's also like to give you the laminated brows, but I just already bought this one. I was like, oh. yeah, so it's a nice little, just a plastic tub. And if I can ever get it open, probably should have done all this before. I'm hoping that it comes with metal Ooh, insert. I probably just dug my finger right into it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie, never mind. Right into the new stitch pajamas. I have to wash these anyway. It's fine. It's 
So let's have a look. Oh, it's very sticky, uh, which I'm hoping it's very sticky, but it feels a little bit putty-ish at the same time. I'm just going to spray my little spoolie. I just feel like this helps. Um, I actually got this little tip off of Mortify. Um, yeah, so awesome. I'm just going to... Oh, it picks up really easily, so you don't need to like swirl it or anything like you do with the pink one. You kind of have to keep going. You definitely don't with this one. Okay, just gonna do a little bit of backcombing, making sure all of the product is in there. Oh my god, at the first inch, it definitely feels like glue. Uh, this the pink honey one doesn't feel I don't know if I had a bit too much product on maybe because I can feel it like I can actually feel the tightness of it I don't know if that's a good thing or not but yeah I can't remember how much these were but obviously it'll all be kind of linked down below it's kind of like got wedged in that little grippy thing and this is kind of annoying to hold I'm not too sure if I would always use this because it's like they're tiny and i'm not i'm not i'm not actually being funny like it's actually getting everywhere <laughs> oh god but we're just gonna roll with it wow it literally like it's not forgiving to the bros it tells you how much hair you've got we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it i know that my bros like need to be um, oh, I don't think you have a lot of time either. I feel like it's getting like really goopy as I'm, and it's, it's kind of a bit goopy on the brow. I will say that for the pink honey one, it's not goopy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are, are more into like the... The fluffy brows, mine tend to literally have a mind of their own. Like literally they have um crazy mind of their own. So I do I do prefer to I do really like, like the laminated look as well because they just even with the pink honey, which I know everyone says, Oh, it keeps your brows in shape for the entire day it doesn't with mine like it really doesn't it's good and i and i really like it but it just doesn't keep them in place although because my brows are just they're, they're just i don't know they're quite thick bushy so if you've got thick bushy brows let me know how you get on and what you have found that literally sticks them all day long because i wore pink honey all day yesterday went shopping and then, like, as I come back, I could just see that they'd all, like, moved around and stuff. So I'll definitely test this out. It's now, like, what time is it now? Like, about three o'clock in the afternoon. So I know, I flipping late. <laughs> that has not come off well. I'm um, just going to go in with my NYX Lift and Snatch and fill those brows in that's not new so i'll come back i'll fill the in um i didn't notice there's any problems actually putting my brow stuff in although it is nearly running out i did buy a new one yesterday but i just couldn't bother to open it so yes getting back to the primers so i bought three of the primers um i bought the melon jelly dewy primer i brought the cocoa gold these are like a set for combination skin i have like normal to dry um it, it just tends to at the minute it's a little bit drier on the drier side the weather doesn't help um i'm not drinking as much water like i would do like in the summer that always keeps me hydrated um so yeah it's a little bit drier at the minute and i do have like dry patches which they always show up and then i went in with the wee Cherie because everyone raves about this and i had to try it. i love the elf power grip i haven't tried milk hydro grip but i do really want to because it just like everyone just seems to say it's just such a good good primer um so yeah be interesting so if you've tried this but you've also tried the milk let me know which one you preferred i'm not going to go in with the dewy one today it looks very like 
watery. Can you see that? Is it coming off on camera? Too sure. Yeah, there you go. It looks very, very watery. I'm not going to be using that one today. I tried to show you. I'm going to be using uh, the Coco Gold Perfecting Primer. Again, this seems to have blown up on TikTok. Uh, well, it did. I think it's like took a little bit of a backseat for a bit now, but it still seems to be quite popular. And then we're going to use the um, thingy bobby one. The thingy bobby one. Should have probably opened all these packages beforehand. Yeah, so let's have a look what the consistency of this is like. Oh, it's a bit like like a, just like a gel. It's definitely not runny. No, it's definitely not runny. So let's have a look. Oh, it's very like, oh, it's smooth. Oh, I like that. Okay. I'm going to use a few more pumps of that. Not too sure how long this would last before I rub it in on all over. I'm just going to show you like a little bit of a close-up of my skin. So, let me see. This is like, it's reminding me, oh, that's so smooth, um, of the um, Too Faced Pored and Primeless. It's just got like a, um, like a, like a, like a spa smell. That's what I'm going to say, like it smells like expensive, <laughs> if that makes sense. This. I came so close to buying the Huda Blur Jam and now I remember that I got this so I'm really, really interested. My skincare has definitely increased. Oh wow. Okay. So, this is my skin now. It is definitely looking a lot smoother. If feels like a baby's ass please ignore the cold sore you just say it just looks it definitely doesn't give like a much of a glow there is a little bit of a glow there but i'm really impressed so let's open this baby up and get I that one i have on. a backup of the elf one which i'm wearing the back of my hand because i have and let's have a look at this Consistency, yeah, it's just <laughs> oh. yeah, so that's cute, which is very, very thick. And let's just put this on. I've seen like people use it, and it's like it looks like their face goes ever so red after. And I'm kind of thinking, oh, I don't really want that, but we'll see. I'm gonna see how it goes. Okay. It doesn't, see how my face goes red? I'm really hoping that that doesn't like stay. Um, first instance, it does not feel as tacky, whether it's because I'm using it with the Cocoa Gold, but it doesn't feel tacky, but we'll leave it a couple of minutes and we will, um, yeah, we'll leave it a couple of minutes and see how tacky it goes. I don't know if it's because I've mixed it with that other primer. We'll leave it a, moment. a couple of minutes and I would say it's nowhere near as tacky as the elf one but like I said I don't know if it's because I put that like smoothing primer underneath it's definitely got a tack to it but can you see like it's barely it's barely tacky um so yeah I just wanted to show you that because I'm just gonna go and do my foundation off of camera because that's not new or anything um I'm gonna do my foundation and my concealer Concealer? No, I won't. Yeah, I will. I'll do my concealer and then we'll come back, test some powders and stuff like that. I'm just going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and concealer today and then we'll be right back. I can't go in like, I'm just going to be dotting this concealer over but I just wanted to actually come and show you already something. Like, my brows are starting to come forward already. Like, you, you probably won't be able to see that on camera, but you saw how much that wax I actually put in 
um yeah i don't know if that is just my brows or i just wanted to come and quickly like show that to you but i'm gonna leave this to seal my face a little bit anyway while we go through another product um but yeah i want to show you because it was like i don't know if i turn to the side can you see at the front here where it's already lifting and i'm like well that's not good because even pink honey doesn't do that i know that they lift after a little while but no pink honey does not do that speaking of pink honey I have finally got my hands on one of the face frostings. These were on sale on TikTok shop um, and it was alive and I asked, I did ask them what the best shade, the lightest, lightest shade was out of stock. So I said to them, what is the next best one for fair skin? And they obviously said the next lightest one, which was creme caramel. Uh, it just came in a little bottle like this. Uh, I don't know if any of them or any colours in stock because this is like literally it's it's not in stock for very long. Um I think the packaging is like super super cute as well. I was just so dying to test this. And when I opened it, I was a bit like, I don't know if that shade's gonna be right for me. It looks a little bit yellowy. I have dipped my finger in that by the way. Um I, I don't know, we're gonna test it out and we're gonna pray. Um we're gonna just we're just gonna pray basically that it is okay i've got a hair in my brush um i didn't notice any problems with my foundation going on on top of those primers yeah it just looks a little bit it's nice normally i would go in with a bit of a denser brush but i just thought no it doesn't really smell of anything um I always see when on like TikTok everyone goes in with like a more of a fluffier brush so I just thought I would copy the trend and see actually, actually it's not a bad a bad shade it's not picking up very well though I don't know why people use fluffy brushes why do you do that that bad shade it doesn't look like a bronze I don't know I don't know if it does look like a bronze shade I mean what do we think does it look nice I'm always so curious I mean I will show you like my favorite shade compared to this this is the like the revolution the light this is the one that I like literally adore compared to that it's just they're a little bit <laughs> They're a touch, but this looks definitely more bronzier than this just looks, I don't know. I don't, it just doesn't look like a bronzer. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'll keep testing it, see what I think. It's definitely buildable though. I definitely think that it's definitely more of a buildable formula. I can't see why people use a fluffy brush. I suppose if you go in with a dense brush, you're just going to pick up probably too much product. And it's definitely blending out like um beautifully to be quite to be quite honest okay let's blend out the concealer oh i wanted to just say before i go and blend out my concealer that i'm gonna um i'm using the artitude cosmetics they they brought out like a new sponge i just use it for my foundation um it's okay it's not a bad sponge it's quite squishy but also quite dense um yeah it's nothing like the the, my favourite marshmallow sponge but um, I threw that away accidentally which I was not happy about and I do need to order another one so yeah I wouldn't say so you see what I mean but I don't know if, is this bronzer giving me like jaundice looks I don't know this isn't my favourite concealer either by the way but it's just the first one that I wanted to grab out of the drawer I wanted to test because I want to test out a new powder and I like to obviously test it with more of a shittier concealer to see whether the concealer is that shit or the powder shit <laughs> and I know this concealer is a bit shit so I would should have probably got in with my favourite concealer at the minute which is the Lancome but we're just going to go with this one. I mean, it's not a bad concealer. It's an okay drugstore concealer, I guess. 
but it does it like it's not long before it starts to crease on me. So that's all blended out. Now it's blended out, I kind of like, I kind of like the bronze. I don't know. Uh, I'm so undecisive. Um, setting powder for under the eyes. I'm going to be using the vitamin by Beauty. Can you just tell I had like a beauty rapport? <laughs> um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm finally going to be testing this. This is in the shade Fair. I was so tempted to pick up the pink one because I know that was out of stock and it came back in stock. But I was like, oh, I don't really, because I'm elderly. <laughs> I don't really like to put pink under my eyes just because you know, I don't really want to draw any more attention to it than is already there, to be quite honest. But this one I know has, you know, great reviews. Comes with a little, it's a little, oh, little own powder puff. So if you wanted to keep that, you can. And then a big cellophane, Jesus Christ. Let's just find out how you actually open this. We don't have Fort Knox to get into the damn thing. It's just got like a little plastic thing, which doesn't honestly feel very secure. In fact, I think oh, that's going to break. Um, but yeah, it's kind of how it is. And then the powder is just inside there. Let's just blend this concealer back out because I have a feeling. Oh, another new product that I'm going to be testing. I absolutely love Triple Cosmetics, amazing. But today we're going to be testing out the Artitude Cosmetics Powder Puff. Uh, they brought out a powder puff duo, and I think they were eleven pound. These feel so soft, so so soft. So they brought out a little mini, and then they brought out like the same sort of size as the Trigwell. Yeah, just feel like the same to be quite honest. But they do feel a little bit more puffier. But I don't know if that's just because um, I've had my Trigwells a while now. Um, so this. So can you see it's like a little bit more thicker um but yeah they do feel both very very soft to be quite honest but i feel like this might just be a little bit thicker because of i'm gonna use the little one for under my eyes um because i've had them obviously they're brand new um so i'm just gonna blend this concealer back out and then we're gonna go in and use the attitude ones and hopefully there's exactly the same shape as the Trigwell ones. I'm just gonna pair up on the back of my hand. And then we're just gonna gonna go underneath with that. And yeah, it's definitely just doing the same same job as any powder puff, I think, but I just really wanted to try these ones see what they're all about they're definitely very very soft so if you haven't tried like a powder puff or you don't want to pay the price i know trig wells can be like quite expensive but again you do get two or you you don't really i don't think you get a mini a big a mini with the trig well one i think it's two big ones um yeah treat yourself and get some Artitude Cosmetics because they are just as soft and a little bit cheaper and in this day and age we could all do with something that's a little bit cheaper. I'm a little bit confused by this powder because there's like this plastic thing but it's just it's just going in. Oh I don't I think I'm supposed to take that out. Oh Sam you idiot. Oh never mind. I'll just use the powder off, off, off of it. I'm wondering if this powder has flashback. I'm not going to use it all over my face just because I actually want to test something else out and I don't want to put too many powders onto my face because you know I'm a little bit elderly and I haven't heard anyone say that it's got a flashback but I don't know it's quite white be interesting to see if it did it's not dark enough for me to take a flash photo I suppose I could go and take one in the bathroom but that requires effort at this moment in time and yeah oh it is very very smoothing and it doesn't it doesn't feel like there's literally anything it's very very lightweight it doesn't make my under eyes under eyes look 
look powdery it definitely doesn't give any coverage at all but it is just a white powder um yeah and it's quite brightening as well which is nice i like a little bit of a brightening powder and then I'm just stick that back in there as far well, as it and then for the rest of my face when i can get the lid back on this for the rest of my face i really want to pick this up yesterday in boots um, it's the Huda, I love Huda Beauty and I love the glowish range for the bronzer, it's my absolute favourite. So I picked up their Luminous Pressed Powder um, and I picked it up in the shade 1 which is fair. Uh, I think there was a shade lower than this which was porcelain. Um, I didn't know for that one, I thought that might have been just a little bit too light. And I think I'm going to go in with a brush with this. And this is just what the packaging looks like, which you've probably already, already seen before. And that's what the colour looks like. I think it gives you like a little bit of coverage as well. Um, well, this is the foundation. God, that foundation's oxidised. Um, so I just test it. Yeah, it definitely is. It gives it that little bit of a glow, which we all know I love to bring back in to my face. So I'm just going to take a brush and let's just do one half of my face and let's see whether there's any difference obviously i don't think this is the same powder this is a literally like a luminous powder so if you wanted to be extra powdery you know okay yeah it definitely does bring that oh i like it wow it really does bring that glow back okay i like that just gives it that really nice subtle glow like your face isn't like fully matted down or anything i actually really like that to match up the other side and then i'm just gonna hop off camera and do my bronzer because i don't have a new bronzer to test. I was going to um, test out. Um, I was going to buy a Kylie uh, bronzer actually, but I didn't. I resisted. Go me. Yeah, I really like that. It definitely just bring a little bit of glow back into the face. I'm all about it. So let's just add. A little oh, bit of get the wrapper off it so we're just gonna have to kind of <laughs> i can't be bothered it's really getting on my nerves and i've got no scissors to kind of like cut it but yeah basically what i was saying um you are tiktok is very younger audience i i feel personally um targeted to the younger audience who don't want to sit and watch youtube who want to sit on the buzz or you know in the car and just flick through tiktok videos and keep flicking until they find something that they want to watch so yeah so I, I feel like it's already targeted just a much younger audience so a lot of your followers are probably going to be a lot younger than like me for instance um not saying that the older generation don't watch youtube uh, tiktok sorry i know that they do but i feel like your audience I just at that age where they have a little bit of pocket money maybe or they've got like a little small part-time job whilst they're in further education and that little bit of money is going to be going on the product that you are promoting that you are sitting there and saying is a good product okay so you and you've just been fake about it you know, these people look up to you, these people respect you, these people believe you and you are giving them false information and it's not good, it's not good, it's not fair, it's it's just, it's wrong in so many ways. I'm just going to curl like one, one of these eyelashes. Um. So yeah, it's just, there's just no need for it basically. Now my eyelashes don't naturally hold any curl um, in any way, shape or form. I do tend to hold it for like 10 seconds um so yeah so it'd be interesting and i like telescopic mascaras and i feel like they're probably really good but i feel like everyone will be going back through her videos so that is my lashes just with a little bit of curl to them now 
um or obviously been cutting while I'm doing this but yeah I just I just don't get it and I have commented and to come back onto now when she did the nine till five mistake when she made that comment and it was you know blown all out of proportion I believe I actually had the girls back I was like you know you've, you've made a comment and you've been totally took out of proportion for it when I um for this this hasn't been blown out of proportion in, in any way shape or form this is fake what you're promoting is fake and I just don't I just don't like it I just don't like it. I'm not gonna lie um I don't it's a mistake it, it, it's a mistake that she's made and it's a mistake that she needs to own she needs to own that mistake she hasn't come back to TikTok and she hasn't apologized to to anybody and she hasn't admitted it I don't think she ever will admit it whatever that is that that's on her um she probably hasn't lost any she won't lose any followers she made this nine to five mistake did she lose any followers probably not you know um has she lost any followers now no because I've gone on to her pages and there's still thousands and up and thousands of followers so she hasn't lost any followers so why not come back and admit it and apologize for it and just own it you know own your mistakes you made a mistake you were a dickhead and yeah that's that's sim it's that simple i don't agree with people bashing her or bullying her you know you have been fake and you you need to own that that is all I'm, that's what i'm trying to say without sounding like a bitch which i probably do but yeah so anyway this is the wand it's a very very different wand it's flat on one side and then you have all the bristles on the other side you are meant to go in with the flat side first and then comb the bristles through um so that's what we're gonna do today um i feel like this pl plastic is gonna get in my way but we're just gonna roll with it okay so um yeah first instance it's going all in my eye it's going all in my eye so yeah, that's sort of where I, I'm trying like to come from. I've even commented on her TikToks that she's just done, um, you know, asking her why she hasn't come back on TikTok with an apology like she did with the nine to five. She came back on, she owned it, and you know she admitted to it. Um, but yeah, I just but she hasn't this time. My lashes are quite long, but they're like, they don't own any curl or anything. So this looks quite clumpy at the minute and I'm literally only using that flat part. So we're going to look right there. Okay, so this is what, it's definitely like the volume out here. I don't know if I curled or have I put enough mascara on the inside. interesting to see how this performs on the bottom lash okay so that's just using the flat side obviously this has no mascara on and that is just using the flat side you can see it's given that little bit of curl and now we're going to go in and use the part with the brush really wiggle that through it's giving me like Max stack vibes and I really did not like that mascara. I poked myself in the eye so many times. I'm being si super careful. I've just got that on my upper lid. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, like in the first instance, it's definitely giving me max stack vibes. It looks a little bit like very clumpy actually. Actually, it's not doing a very good job of combing through. It is very clumpy. If you don't like clumpy mascaras, I would avoid like the plague. Because this is clumpy. No mascara? It's mascara. No mascara. I'm not going to curl this side, actually. Um, I'm just going to go into the lower lash line. The lower lash line? The lower lashes, sorry. Um, yeah, 
so that's basically i did like i said i did comment on her tiktoks they immediately got deleted um so i just don't get why she hasn't owned this when she owned her last mistake um why she can't own this it definitely separates those lower lashes quite well which i like because my lower lashes always look quite like short and stubbly whether this would transfer i don't know we'd have to go in so that is what the lower lashes are looking like ignore that i i slipped let's do the other side without any curling of the lashes oh shit um any curling of the lashes i'm not like i said i'm gonna stay on camera and do this so you guys can see that i haven't put any falsies on oh dear i just don't get it like i just it's such a shame because you know she's so well liked and it's just a shame that you know she could have potentially done something to end her career i have to be careful because there's only like one flat side of this brush um you know i don't think it would have ended her career but i mean will l'oreal work with her again did l'oreal ask her to um you know it is l'oreal isn't it <laughs> sitting there going l'oreal l'oreal could be maybelline no it is, it is l'oreal um you know did they ask her to wear false eyelashes i don't think so I don't, this feels like really heavy like on this lash without curling it feels super heavy and gunky i'm not gonna lie i feel like i can see it all let's see what it comes through see whether we can fix it oh god it's so clumpy <laughs> oh god i don't normally like comfy mascaras but you know i will obviously continue to use it i like mascaras that have um been open a few days so they kind of dry out a little bit I think mascaras, all mascaras work better once they've had a chance to dry out. But you can see here, my lashes are just, do you know what I mean? Curled, non-curled, you, you can tell. 100% I, I always need to curl my lashes. Both sides. Okay, let's do a lower lash. But I don't think that she needed to do that like to do you know what i mean i don't think she needed to put the false lashes on like what was she what was she trying to achieve by doing that because to me you just make yourself look stupid okay it's definitely a lot more thicker on this side this this has just not gone very well at all go i've put too much on yeah, if you guys, if you don't like clumpy mascara, it's definitely not like the original telescopic, 100%. That one I love. This one I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to become a favourite. Okay. So that is that done. I keep trying to like curl this side up with the brush, but it's not going to work. So I feel like if you don't have naturally curled out curled up lashes oh shit it's not gonna really do anything for you it was a little bit blobby underneath on this eye which has now transferred to underneath my lash which i'll wait for it to dry this part here was my fault i do I'm just gonna try and flick that off it flicks off pretty easy to be quite honest so that's not a problem um I've just been flicking it all at my face. Um, is it like the best mascara? I always wear false lashes. Like, I always wear false lashes. Not in this video, I can assure you. Um, so I don't know. Like, it's definitely thick, and it is definitely like goopy. Is the best way to describe it. And mm, I don't know. I don't know if I like it to be quite honest and maybe she didn't like it and that's why she decided to put false lashes on but i definitely think it's giving that thickness that you didn't need it but maybe it just wasn't giving the 
the curl because obviously you can see over here it's definitely not giving that curl for me um but yeah i mean it's 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 okay it's it's definitely not gonna you know break any internet for me personally <laughs> um yeah it's just it's just a mascara to be quite honest but it's nothing groundbreaking it really isn't sorry to be a party pooper but it's really not for lips last new thing that i have to my collection i purchased yesterday this is the kylie jenner matte liquid lipstick and lip liner it was a lip kit in the shade kylie i, I just love this brand and the more i'm buying from it the more i'm like i really do like this brand i buy like kylie basically um so let's just oh let's do the swatch the uh oh bit sticky uh yeah so it's definitely smudged here you can see not very much but it's not, it's not too bad but it's definitely smudged away so i do feel like it wouldn't it wouldn't last all day uh where should we swatch this oh look at that beautiful very nice pinky nude again probably not going to go with this lip Um, this oil, oil I mean, and this, oh god I love it, I absolutely love it, I just, I just love it, it feels very creamy as well, I love a lip, um, a lip liner that feels creamy, so I'm not the best at lining my lips, but I won't talk to you doing it. kind of how it's going it's kind of how it's going and we're gonna that's definitely more like nude and that's like pink and nude so we're just gonna see and i've got all black because i have black on there so it's all over there now wonderful i'm not normally a matte person but when i tested this out of the shop it felt like I didn't test it on my lips, by the way. When I like did a little test on the back of my hand, it felt really creamy. And it feels really creamy now. Mm. Okay, I hope it doesn't dry down any more than that because I'm quite happy. I'm gonna go off camera, do something with my hair, probably change my top to be quite honest. I probably won't to be quite honest either so who knows and then I'll be back to round up these products and let you know what if you look at this big punk of mascara <laughs> what the hell um I'm gonna put some black eyeliner on and hopefully that will fade but we'll be right back so we're back just ignore the pearls it's for a whole other video don't you worry about that if you want to check it out it will be my three looks with the lure palette so if you want to check that out definitely go ahead and let's dive into what I thought of these products that I tested out today. Let's do a quick round of review. Brows have not stayed, they have a little bit like out here. I'm not too sure if I put enough on the inside, but they're definitely, I hope you can see, coming away from my face from where I super glued them down apparently um yeah and they've just like they've just like fallen a little bit flat i mean they were this one's not so much so i do think because i put a lot of product in this one maybe i should have put just as much product in that one um so i'll test it out again and see um how i feel about that the primers um so the perfecting primer was really really smoothy and it definitely reminded me of the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, that baby soft smooth skin. Then I put the We Cherie gripping primer on top and it just didn't make it very very gripping. So I'll test that throughout the month and test it either 
just on top of a moisturiser, test it on top of other, um, maybe leave it longer. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I definitely want to test it again because it is 100% not as gripping as the e.l.f. one. But I'm hoping it's because of the primer that I already had underneath. Uh, what was next? Obviously, these little powder puffs. They were really super, super cute. Um, this, this actually surprised me because I really, really did not think that this was going to be anywhere near the shade match that I needed. But it was. It was really nice and it blended out really, really creamy, buttery. It was beautiful. I really, really, I don't, obviously I'll continue to use all of these products. But yeah, I was really, really impressed with that. Um, next was the Vitamin Babe setting powder, which, yeah, still just a little powdery under my eyes. It hasn't made my concealer crease and that concealer is shite. Um, so I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with that. Um, it doesn't obviously give any coverage and I haven't took a picture with, with the flash. If you want me to, I can definitely let you know. I can go ahead and take that and then you can question it in the description box of if it actually had flashback or not. Um, but I don't think it does because it doesn't show up white. It's very, very translucent. When I was putting it on, it was very, very white. Uh, now it's just it's just translucent. It doesn't look like there's anything on my face. Um, this glowish was really surprising. Do I think it's worth the price tag? No, definitely not. It's beautiful. It's really nice. It's it's definitely not a setting powder. So if you want a whole face setting powder, this isn't the one for you. Um, but I just don't. Do I th felt feel like I needed it? Maybe not. It gave a little slight bit of coverage. Um, it's a little bit blurring. But yeah, it's not like it wasn't a, a necessity. But I'll continue to use it over other foundations. Maybe like more matte foundations to see whether it kind of brings some life back to my skin. Next we had um star of the show, star of the fucking show. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Love the colour. Definitely very buildable. I only went in with like a little dip and I got a really nice, subtle, soft baby pink blush. I really, really enjoyed that. I can't wait to keep using it. The Rare Beauty Highlighter, obviously I've already tested this before, but it is still stunning. Flipping fantastic. And the lip products, we'll get to the mascara. Uh, lip products, yeah, really, really comfortable. Haven't broken up on me. It's only been about 10 minutes, but yeah, really comfortable. I would go as to say it's quite as comfortable as my Kaleidos Lip Plays. Um, really nice formula. Has it like... Uh, sunken into any lines yet probably will shortly but i'll see how it wears on like maybe on a longer day i'll be able to obviously report that back to you um primer oh these 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 were really nice actually um i don't like that tiny little doll for it reminds me of something maybe that a child would have in um like a magazine lip gloss and <laughs> um, the doll foot is quite annoying but um, really quite hydrated on the lips. They smell really, really nice. The cherry one's not too overpowering, but the watermelon one is. And they were just something nice and comfortable to have on the lips whilst I was doing my makeup. Um, I probably would wear them out in the summer as well, just to, you know, keep your lips hydrated. Because in the summer, I don't... I very rarely wear like lipsticks and stuff just because I'm drinking constantly and they just don't last. So lip oils in the summer are definitely a go-to. And I I love the smell of this. Absolutely love the smell of it. So glad to have it in my collection. Uh, it felt hydrating when I was putting it on the skin. I do feel like I've got a bit of a glow back to my skin. Really, really nice. I don't think it's going to last my eye last any longer, as you've seen from from me smudging my black um, eyeshadow down my arm. Uh, but no, it was nice. It's a nice primer, um, nice setting mist, and it smells. If you love cherries, you're gonna you're gonna love that. Um, yeah. So let's get on to probably why everyone wanted to watch this video. Um, it is the telescopic mascara. Um, it's it, it's okay um it hasn't like transferred or anything under my eyes yet but it's just like it's just okay like i don't 
I can see why she wore falsies, probably to try and sell it. Perhaps L'Oreal realised it wasn't as good as their telescopic original and Sky High is kind of beating telescopic, I think, at the moment. So perhaps they wanted to bring some something back. I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. And no one will ever know because I don't think she's ever going to come out and say, you know, oh, they made me do it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a mascara. It's okay. It's nice. It's just, an, it's giving me like the volume. It's definitely giving me the volume. And it is giving me the curl, but I think that is because I curled my own lashes. I didn't curl these ones. And as you can see, they just haven't curls. Uh, the one's a bit, of, a bit annoying as well. Um, it definitely gives me max stack. I feel like I'm going to pop myself in the eye at some point with this, but max stack is a lot more spikier than this one um but yeah it's just a good drug store, drugstore mascara i don't really write write mascaras like i don't i don't test high-end mascara i just buy a mascara to be quite honest because i put full side lashes on um but obviously i had to buy this to see you know if it was amazing um if it was gonna you know miraculously put some full side lashes on for me but it didn't so you know never mind uh, but that is it. I hope that you have enjoyed this. I know it's been a bit of a long one. I do ramble on a lot. Oh, I like the sponge as well. I do like the sponge by Artitude. That was really nice. Um, yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I also like the powder puffs. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm waffling on now, so I really need to piss off, basically. And possibly do some housework. I don't even know what time it is. I've been sitting here for a long time now. A long time. My back is starting to hurt. So I'm going to have to go. I know you're all going to miss me. But I will see you all very, very soon. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.